but still nice and cool overall in terms of the temperatures, though our temperatures are continuing to climb. The drier weather means lower humidity, and so feels like temps aren't really all that uh, bad overall. And we stay dry. Mike Burrish says uh, we could go 12, maybe 14 days before we see our next decent shot for more widespread rainfall. you got to go back to last Wednesday. So enjoy the uh, early preview of fall, though we are starting to turn a little bit above average. The rest of the week looks to be dry as we head into one of the signature event weekends of early fall in Jacksonville with the uh, Home and Patio Show returning Jazz Fest festival coming back as well. We've got events all over the place, harvests and, and corn mazes throughout Northeast Florida, and we'll continue to outline those in detail throughout the week. So make sure you're connected to Jacksonville's morning news and stay connected to any breaking developments in the WOKV app in day five now. The search for suspected cop killer Patrick McDowell. We continue to provide you with updates at least every 15 minutes during Jacksonville's morning news. We can send you any breaking news alerts if there are sightings or any other uh, developments, especially in word of an arrest. We don't yet have that. The search efforts resuming this morning after a pouring out uh, of support uh, and tributes to uh, Deputy Moyers' family uh, and uh, his uh, folks in Nassau County, uh, as we saw so many people line the streets of Callahan throughout the day on Monday. Nationally, we're continuing to follow the shutdown showdown as we're just a couple of days away from a partial government shutdown. Uh, Senate Republicans uh, blocking a short-term spending plan because it's tied to raising the debt ceiling. That's going to be a fight that we'll follow very closely for you over the coming days. Get breaking news alerts on these and other top stories when you download the free 104.5 WOKV app.